Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I'm here with my fifth update for my 2020 project pan. And what it is is the hashtag team project pan that was started by Kat and Haley from Beauty News. And basically it's just a full year rolling project pan. You pick out an item of makeup, there's some non-makeup categories, but you pick up an, one of each item. And as you use up something, you replace it with a similar item. So I'll start off with what I used up during this past month. I just used up one thing. I still haven't been wearing makeup all that much, kind of like one or two times a week. Um, but I was able to use up a lip balm. This is the Fresh Sugar Lip Caramel and it is finished off. So happy to have something finished off for this month. And then my replacement item is going to be another fresh item. Um, I go through these a lot in my project pans, um, but it's like a tinted lip balm. This is the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment in the shade Honey. So I have used this a handful of times, but it's pretty much completely full. So that's what it looks like as of now. And I have marked out my post-it so I can kind of keep track of it um, throughout the updates. But that will be my replacement lip balm type item. So now I'll get into everything I'm still working on. So I'm still working on my primer. I just haven't worn makeup enough to get um, through the rest of it. There's barely any product left, but I just use so little of it every time I do use it that it's just, yeah, you can see all the air squeezed out, but it's just taking a long time. Um, so we'll see how much longer this one takes, but yeah, still working on the primer. Um, my foundation, I have the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. Um, you can see where I'm at, like right here. So I don't have much of this left, but again, I'm not wearing makeup all the time. So um, I'm using this a few times a week. We'll see how much longer the rest of this lasts. But um, yeah, kind of making my way through this kind of slowly. But I feel like if I was wearing makeup every day, I'd probably finish the rest of this in like a month. But since I'm not, it will take me probably like three months or so to use up. But yeah, that's where I'm at with this, just right here. Probably should mark that one. Um, concealer. I also have the Urban Decay Stay Naked, Stay Naked Concealer. Again, I feel like concealer, I just use a little bit at a time, so it always takes me longer to go through concealer than like a foundation. Um, so I can kind of see some like wearing away at the sides, but I feel like this is going to last me for a long time, especially... I find with concealers, like once you take the stopper out, you can get all the product on the sides. Um, so I have, they tend to last me quite a while. So I feel like this one will still be around in this project. Probably I won't finish it even this year um, with the amount I'm like currently wearing makeup. But yeah, that is the concealer. Um, using that whenever I'm doing makeup, if it's either like I'm wearing makeup or not. Um, so it's not something I'm like even using every day. And then I have my powder. Um, this is the Too Faced Peach Perfect uh, Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. So I had just used this up last month and I replaced it with the same item. So I've been using this for like a month, again, not every day, but um, this is where I'm at currently. It's this, um, let's see. I'm gonna like underneath this Mattifying Loose Setting Powder line, so. Um, with my other powder, it took me over with like daily use. It took me over a year to use it up, I feel like. So yeah, this one I definitely won't be finishing this year, but um, working on that. Then I have something I do want to finish up this year. This is my setting spray. I'm also using this as a primer. I kind of use these two together as a primer and then follow up with this as a setting spray. Um, so I don't have that much of it left, but um, here's my mark and I just sprayed it on my face so it's kind of created some bubbles so I don't really have an accurate mark for it but I'm kind of like my marks are kind of wearing away but kind of slowly using the rest of this up but yeah this is something I would like to finish up um, at some point this year because I do have some more Smashbox setting um, some more Smashbox primer waters that I want to use so anyway trying to get through that I have my blush my hourglass ambient lighting blush and mood exposure i didn't expect to use this up blushes take a long time but i just want to make some good progress on this so that's where i'm at with the blush and then i have a highlighter 
kind of a highlighter, a little sample. It can also be like an eyeshadow. But this is the Bomb um, Mary Luminizer. Um, yeah, not much progress here. I do wear this. I tend to try to wear it when I wear makeup, but yeah, even with this little size, like I just don't wear highlighter that often. So I'm not making a bunch of progress with that. Um, something I also want to try to use up is this Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light. Um, I had hit a pan on this last year, so I don't have a ton of product left, but again, this isn't something that I'm like packing on my face. I'm just using a little bit, like kind of sweep over my blush. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at with this, but you can see not a ton of product left, but I do need to start using it more regularly if I want to actually get through it. Um, I have my eyeshadow primer. Um, this is the NARS um, Smudge Whip Eyeshadow Base. Took the stop out of this one. So I kind of, if I was wearing makeup every day, I probably would be finished with this by now, at this point in the year. But since I'm not, then it's just taking me longer. Um, but I still get product on the um, wand and there's still product in there. So. We'll see how much longer this one takes. It'll kind of depend on how often I'm wearing eyeshadow, but slowly making my way through that one. Um, speaking of eyeshadow, I have a single eyeshadow, the Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow in Sin. I almost honestly forgot this was in this project. Um, a few months ago, I got the Urban Decay, the Naked Reloaded palette, and that's what I've been using every time I'm wearing makeup. I'm reaching for that palette. It's new. I want to kind of play around with it. So honestly, I put this back in my like storage drawers and I was like, oh wait, that was supposed to be in this project. So yeah, haven't used this over the past month. I kind of forgot about it, but yeah, maybe I, I need to put it back in my bathroom where I have my like daily makeup so I can actually use it. But yeah, no progress there, which is kind of sad. Um, I have my eyeliner. I did wear my eyeliner today when I was getting ready to film this video. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I have my post-it for the eyeliner. I've talked about this one. I guess I could have made a new line, but I just don't really wear eyeliner all that much. And if I do, I like to wear, not this one, <laughs> I have some other ones that I prefer over this one. Um, but I just want to try to get through the rest of this. Um, but we'll see with this one. I don't know if it's something I'll ever really use up because I've been having it in projects for a while now and not making a ton of progress with it. So... Yeah, that's the eyeliner. Not much to say there. Um, I have my mascara, the Benefit They're Real. So I have been wearing this. Again, I'm only wearing it when I'm actually wearing makeup, which is just a few times a week. But I am getting use out of this. Um, usually I try to use a mascara for about three months. But since I've been wearing makeup not that frequently, I don't really... I feel like I can stretch it out a little longer. I don't know. We'll just... I'll keep using it until it just doesn't apply well anymore. Um... So we'll see with this one, but I am making some progress with this. Some other products I'm making progress with um, are my brow products. I have, again, the Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, we'll see with this one. I'm not really sure how long this one will last, but um, yeah, since I'm not using it as frequently, it probably will last me longer than normal, but that's that brow product, my brow like color product, I guess. And then I have a brow gel also from benefit the 24 hour brow setter again we'll see how long this lasts but i feel like this probably will last me at least till the end of the year i feel like this the brow gels usually um last me for a good amount of time so we'll we'll see with this one if i finish it by the end of the year um, i have my lip products so this is the kiko lipstick in the shade natural rose uh, i'm not really wearing lipstick I feel like this lip balm, I feel like this is something I could kind of wear on a daily basis or like reapply throughout the day, um, even if I'm not wearing makeup. So that's why I wanted to add that in. Um, but like lipstick isn't really something I'm wearing currently. Uh, I, so my mark isn't new, but that's where I am with it. So I was making good progress on that, but then, you know, not really wearing makeup currently. I'm staying at home. So um, not been making much progress with this. I know this is sort of like a um, depressing update because um, everything's sort of like, oh, I'm, I'm wearing it occasionally or I'm not wearing it. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of weird times. Um, lip gloss. I do want to try to use up the lip gloss. This is the um, Bite um, French Press Lip Gloss in the shade Flat White. So I have this one. I actually have an, a backup in the same shade. So I kind of want to get through this. So I want to see... 
Um, I'm wearing the lip gloss and the honey um, lip treatment today. So I, I like them paired together. So I want to see if I can get just more use out of this. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, I feel like throwing on a gloss is like an easy thing to do. So I want to see if I can get some more consistent use out of this one. But over the past month, I really haven't used it all that much. I would say a handful of times I have reached for it, but it's not something I've been like consistently using. So that's that kind of the same story with all the makeup items. Then I have a few non-makeup categories. So I have a hand cream. This is the Bath and Body Works Hydrolonic Acid Hydrating Hand Cream. Um, I don't have much of this left, but honestly, I've talked about last time I got a Kiehl's hand cream and that's what I've been reaching for. Um, but I do like this one. I just kind of forget about it. But if I squeeze out the air, there's like hardly anything left. So I really just needed to make a point over the next few weeks of using this up just so I can kind of move it out of my collection. I can put something else in this project. Um, so yeah, I just need to remember to use this one because I do like it, but I just been reaching for my other hand cream. So, um, this, I really need to make a point to use up just so I can move it along out of the project. Then I have my fragrances. So I have the Nirvana or Elizabeth and James Nirvana, um, black and white fragrances. And I've kind of always talked in my updates how I can't really measure the progress because I can't see through the packaging and it makes it sort of frustrating. But with the white one, I was able to kind of scrape off the paint on the side so I can kind of tell where I am with the white one. The black one, um, I don't know what the, it is with the paint on the white one. Um, it kind of, you can see, it's kind of getting like scratched away, but the black one doesn't have that problem. So I'm, I'm assuming I am about the same place in both of these because I kind of use them together. I might use one one day, one the other, or I can use them both at the same time. They're kind of meant to be paired together. Um, so with the white one, I'm right about here. So, um, like a little more than halfway, um, used up. So, um, now that I can kind of see, I think, um, that will be helpful for this project. So I made a, just a little teeny mark. I don't know if you can see, but it's like right about here where my finger is, is about where the white one is at. So kind of happy I have a way to measure at least the progress on one of them. Um, but that's where I'm with that. Um, then I have my body care product. I have this, um, body shop body yogurt and then the scent strawberry. This is something I put into the project last month. Um, and I've pretty much been using this every day so, and I'm right here. I don't have a mark, but you can kind of see through the packaging. So I'm more than halfway finished with this. So I feel like this is something by the next update that I will have finished off. This smells really good. I really love some of their scents from the body shop. Um, and this has been really nice to use. So, um, this one is something I am making some good progress on. Um, then I have a skincare product. This is also from Bite. This is the Bite um, Lip Scrub. Um, so I put this in the shower. I haven't been using it like every day or ever like so many times a week. It's kind of as I remember, which isn't that frequently, but um, I don't want it to just spill out everywhere. But I am. I used it today. I have used it. I've used it more since it's been in the shower than I did when it was just in my medicine cabinet. So I'm kind of hopeful that I'll be able to get through this, but I just kind of have to remember to use it more frequently, but at least it's in a place that I'm more likely to use it now. So still working on that. And then okay. also speaking of in shower products, I have my hair product. This is the Garnier Fertile Sleek Shot. Um, it's a in shower styler, so I like mix it with my shampoo. And honestly, I am, I don't want to like squeeze out the air because I'm afraid the product is just going to come like coming up, flowing out everywhere. Um, but I feel like this is something that I can get through. Maybe not by the next update, but I would say in like an update or two. I really don't have much of this left at all, but it's not something I'm using like every single day. Um, but I feel like even with a few more uses that this should be finished off. So kind of hopeful there. So what I feel like I can use up next, I would say the primer, hopefully by the next update, but I keep saying that every update, um, but that is almost, almost finished off. Um, I would also say I'm really, if I just focus on this hand cream. I know I said this is the last update too, but I really want to get this finished off. Um, I would say it's very likely I'll finish this body yogurt off. And I feel like, you know, it's not a stretch that I can finish up this hair care product. 
So that's kind of where I'm at with the products. There's some stuff I feel like I'm making really good progress on that I'm continuing to use like on a daily basis. There's some stuff that I'm using occasionally as I'm wearing makeup and then other things that, you know, it's kind of typical with Project Pan. There's some stuff you always sort of forget about and don't really get much use out of. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Um, I'm kind of hopeful with the few products I've mentioned that I'll be able to get through those in the next month. And we'll just kind of see with how often I wear makeup. I'm not really going to like force myself to wear makeup every day. It seems kind of pointless at this point. But anyway, that is my update. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you soon.